in this video we'll be talking about dandy walker malformation which is a congenital brain malformation predominantly affecting the cerebellar development cerebellum is a region in the brain that regulates balance coordination movement posture etc so obviously one can understand what is the manifestation of this disease dandy walker malformation is a congenital malformation which leads to a cystic dilation of the fourth ventricle so there is a portion back of the head head which bulge out and there is a hypoplasia or agenesis of the cerebellar vermis then there is enlargement of the posterior fossa and these are the predominant or the key features of dandy walker malformation these kind of features of dandy walker mal malformation can be detected using mri imaging so this is how a control and a dandy walker malformation look like notice the cerebellum nicely pointed out in the control mri whereas if you look at the mri of a dandy walker patient the cerebellum look pretty much small so obviously there is an over overall hypoplasia of the cerebellum and moreover there is a cystic dilation of the fourth ventricle there are too much of cerebrospinal fluid which are obstructed in these particular ventricle that creates the bulge in the back of the head so obviously in the during the birth there is a appearance of macrocephaly the macrocephalic appearance is mostly due to the obstructive uh, nature of the overall fourth ventricle there are fluid accumulation so this is how exactly the sagittal coronal and horizontal view of an mri look like for a dandy walker patient now this is how our skull fossa look like this is the anterior cranial fossa med medial and posterior cranial fossa in case of dandy walker malformation the posterior cranial fo fossa is defective so this is how a normal mri which uh, which looks like this this is the overall cerebellum and here you can see the in the dandy walker malformation the posterior fossa is becoming much more thin and this is how the cerebellum is looking at so the central part of the cerebellum is kind of uh, messed up that means the vermis area is the one which is most affected and this is how the fluid accumulation look like anyway vermis area of the cerebellum is pretty important for motor coordination and it plays crucial role in balance and posture as well and histological findings of dandy walker malformation shows that there is an overall reduction in the foliation of the cerebellum but the most affected region is the floculonodular lobe and the overall uh, number of lobules are reduced in number so this is how it looks like in the normal and this is how it looks like in the dandy walker malformation so overall the inferior part of the vermis is hype it's undergoing hypoplasia so the diagnostic signatures of dandy walker malformation involves a signature known as the tail sign and this has been recently proposed based on current research so this is a 20 post coitus week uh, embryo which has a dandy walker malformation you can clearly see the posterior part of the cerebellum appears like a dog's tail and it's kind of like curved so this is the tail sign for the dandy walker malformation and it has been seen that out of the patients which are ex examined or interpreted with dandy walker malformation 75 percent of the patients show this kind of symptom and this is the latest research that talks about this and this kind of tail sign appears due to uh, the reduced growth of the posterior vermis and it correlates with the failure of rhombic lip region to internalize in the particular cerebral development so rhombic lip is a germinal zone which has stem cells for different cerebellar cell types so rhombic lip marked here in the red give rise to cell types like granule cells which are glutamatergic cells deep cerebellar nuclear cells or dcns and also it give rise to unipolar brush cells so quite a lot of different cell types in the cerebellum appears from this rhombic lip and it is speculated that rhombic lip is the origin of this particular disease and the problems are happening at the level of rhombic lip and the cells that comes out of the rhombic lip 
Now, Dandy Walker syndrome is pretty much uh, pleiotropic. Basically, Dandy Walker symptoms shows different type of involvement of genes and pathways. Also, the phenotypic variability and diversity is quite massive. You can see there are MRI from three patients and three of these patients shows different degree of severity. When it comes to genetics, trisomy 18, trisomy 13, 21 and 9 are associated with Dandy Walker's malformation. Also the RNA sequencing experiment from the rhombic lip of Dandy Walker malformation patient reveals an interesting aspect. There is a reduction in proliferation and the stemness related genes from the Dandy Walker malformation patient. That explains why the rhombic lip is dysmorphic and undergoes atrophy. Now symptoms as mentioned before includes delayed motor milestones, hypotonia, motor coordination defects or ataxia. Also there could be other uh, signatures like prominent occiput, craniofacial abnormalities like cleft palate, upward slanting of the eyes etc. But these are variable and not present in all the patients. Treatment and management includes incorporation of the VP shunt or ventroperitoneal shunt uh, requires a surgery for this kind of implantation. This would drain the excess fluid to the peritoneum and that's how the intracranial pressure would be balanced. Other supportive treatment includes physiotherapy, speech therapy and supportive medications. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Support our channel using super thanks. See you in next video.